okay welcome along to another video a look at how bright how we measure or quantify how bright the stars are um reasonable amount to get through so i can't move around too long the first uh, and most important idea is that we use a magnitude scale um and the scale i'm dealing with works just <coughs> exactly the same for apparent magnitude an absolute magnitude but we'll start off by um, talking about apparent magnitude that's how bright the stars appear from planet earth we can imagine some really bright stars in the night sky and we can remember imagine some that are just so faint we can only just see them and starting off with the greeks we call this a magnitude six and this a magnitude one so first and most important thing to remember is the more you go in that direction the smaller the number and it does go into minus numbers the brighter the bigger the number the dimmer the star obviously they um filled in with a, a scale that was uniform but it was not um, a numerical thing until we could really imagine the amount of light coming from stars we now say that um, one is a hundred times brighter than six and that each step on the scale it, it represents um, a consistent multiplication by x Two is X times brighter than three. One is X times brighter than two. One is therefore X squared brighter than three, not two X. So we know that X to the five, because there are one, two, three, four, five steps, is 100. So X is the fifth root of 100, which is 100 to the fifth and that's 2.51 and you expect it to know that each step on the apparent magnitude scale is a step of 1.51 so the apparent magnitude scale is great if i'm an astronomer i've seen a little cluster of stars you can have fractions um so i've just seen this cluster of stars those are the magnitudes. Whiz that over to another astronomer. They'll know exactly what it will look like. And hopefully you'll quickly realise this is the dimmest star in the group. That's the brightest star in the group because 3.1 is a smaller number than 5.4. But what, of course, we don't know, uh, it could be that when we get to visit star 3.1, turns out it's really pretty close. It's a pretty feeble star. 5.4 be a huge giant bright star just happens to be a really long way away so if we're comparing things kind of for their physics the actual what's going on in the star then we need absolute magnitude okay so the absolute magnitude is the magnitude a star would have at um, 10 parsecs. There's a separate video on what a parsec is because that's um, reasonably involved. So let's just do a little bit of thought experimenting here. So let's imagine that we see a star and it's got, so we're going to use little m for um apparent magnitude little m of five but it's closer to us this is this line here is meant to be a kind of reference line of 10 parsecs so what happens just to mix up the colors a bit if we move that star out to 10 parsecs well it's going further away if it's going further away it's getting dimmer and therefore its number is getting bigger so we can <coughs> say for this star 
that its absolute magnitude, its mag brightness when it's 10 parsecs away, is going to show less brightness than 5, and therefore it's a number greater than 5. Let's now try that for a star. That's right out here. Okay. So let's imagine this is already a bright looking star. It's a magnitude two star. Um, and we, again, we're going to imagine dragging that back. Of course, when we drag it closer, so it's at 10 parsecs, it's now get it's now getting brighter, isn't it? It's getting brighter, the number's getting smaller. Um, and therefore we can say that the because this represents greater brightness is now less than two. And it's worth just remembering that, of course, that means in this case, M could equal zero. Now though it's one step brighter than one could even represent minus one or even minus four. Minus four is less than two. Imagine a time type timeline. They're all steps to the left, aren't they? If somebody tells you this pair of values, so somebody says for a particular star, the apparent magnitude is seven and the absolute magnitude is two. That immediately tells me, and you'll see this in the equation in a moment, that this star is m more than 10 parsecs from Earth, because when we moved it to 10 parsecs, it got brighter. Similarly, if m equals 3 and m equals 7, those are the numbers we immediately know without knowing anything else um, that this star um, got to dimmer when we moved it to 10 parsecs. So it was actually less than um, 10 parsecs from Earth. Have a look at the little equation now. Just grabbing some more paper. So. And the equation for this, and as ever, sometimes the equation is easier than getting your head around this stuff, is simply m minus m equals 5 log d over 10. Really important health warnings. That is log to the base 10. And d is the distance to the star in parsecs. So that's pause. Nearly two years of physics with me. The first equation where M <coughs> is going to be, sorry, D is going to be measured not in metres, but in parsecs. So you need a bit of practice um, on that question. So I think hopefully you can read that. What I'd like you to do is pause look at that question and then answer it please so let's have a go through the answer now uh, we can see the absolute magnitude is three and absolute magnitude is three and the apparent magnitude is 11. so the first thing i notice is that when this star was moved to 10 parsecs it got brighter and therefore I'm expecting an answer um, that's greater, um, greater than 10 parsecs. So we've got 11 minus 3 equals 5 log d over 10. 11 minus 3 is 8. So then moving that over 5 equals log d over 10. So to remember to get rid of a log, we've got to use powers. So 10 to the power 8 over 5 equals d over 10. So d is equal to 10 times 10 to the power 8 over 5. Let's stick that in our calculator. So 10 times 10 to the power. Um, of course, if you don't like what I'm doing, you're very welcome to have done it by just doing inverse log of 8 over 
five. And that gives me, just as I expected, a number uh, greater than, so I think we can basically call that 400 parsecs. Um, I'll just, I will confirm the answer in the back before I publish the video. Um, I hope that gets you started on this. Thank you very much.